Hey guys, my name is Trina, aka Trina Made of 100 Games, and welcome to a special episode of Gaming Update. So, today's update is about Agents of Mayhem. So, Agents of Mayhem is an upcoming open world action adventure video game that is set in the Saints Row universe that is developed by Volition and Deep Silver. And also Disturb It, that is by Square Enix. So, uh, this is very exciting. So, Agents of Mayhem is coming out on August 15th in North America. And also in Europe, it's August 18th. That is for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. So, uh, yeah. So... Agents of Mayhem is an open world game played from third person perspective. The game takes place in a futuristic version of Seoul, South Korea, built as the city of tomorrow. The game features 12 different agents and players can choose three agents from the complete missions and risks for the world. The 12 agents include Fortune, a combination form of Sky Pirate, Hentech, a United States Navy Chief Petty Officer, Hollywood actor and proclaimed face of mayhem, Wema, an Indian entomologist, and also Pierce Washington, who often driven Legan out of Stillwater, joined Mayhem under the Islands Kingpin, also an available select or lady, Sergei Orne. Bud Duck, DZ, Red Card, and Joy. Each agent has their own unique play style and abilities. For instance, Hartek uses shotgun as their primary weapon, while Hollywood uses his assault rifle. As players deal damage to enemies with the weapons, players accelerate points that will fill up the bar. When the bar is filled, players can utilize the agent's mayhem abilities, which is superpower moves that they're created in a player in combat. Different agents have different mayhem abilities. For example, Fortune can use the drone to stun enemies, while Hollywood can trigger massive explosions around him. Players can switch between the three agents they have selected freely. An experiment with different combinations of agents to see what which trio of characters suit their playstyle the most. Remember, in a game is fast. The agent can park around the city with the triple jump ability or use cards to transfer in the game's world. In addition, in main campaign missions, there will also be unlocked missions which unlock new agents for players to control the personal missions, which dives into the backstory of free agents. Different agents will have different personality and their responses to the game events vary. As the player progress in the game, the agents will gain experience points. Cast skills, new gadgets and mods, and enhance their combat eventually. There are also cosmetic customization options for the agents and the weapons featured in the game. So let's go ahead and move on to saying so this part is a little bit of cuts words so to watch out. So Agents of Mayhem is a spin-off of the Saints World series taking place after the recreate Earth ending of Saints World Get Out of H E L L, the game's pilot reveals around the organization known as Mayhem. Bartolano Agency hunting evil masterminds founded by Pearl's from Brainstone. As a character first seen in Get Out of H-E-L-L and founded by the R2 Corporation, one of the main antagonists of Saints Row 2 and a Red Faction series. Later, Margin with the Saints and Saints World of Third. Building the Saints' purple 
Birdless Logger. Mayhem goal is to stop terrorist organization Ligon. The League of Evil Gentlemen intent of obtaining nations from destroying the world's nations. The game is set in a new future version of Seoul, South Korea. So the very game began shortly after the release of Scenes for 4. The game began its development cycle as some concept art and character descriptions and after receiving possibility of comments from the outsiders who have listened to our pitch, one of our one described it as G.I. Joe vs. Cobra Mega Fight 2020. The game soon entered full production unlike previous Saints Row games, which have only one player controlled protagonist. Agents of Mayhem introduces multiple playable characters. This was done because Volition reflected on the same of their previous fan events. Where fans obtained to cosplay as the supporting characters rather than a central character, they considered it's an advantage to show the fans and so the fans of the franchise would be interested in a character force game. Another reason is that the company inspired by League of Legends and Dota 2 wanted players to form strong connection with the characters. Volition also thought the game, being a single player title, has a great advantage since most games with a diverse cast of characters are multiplayer forced. The game's tone and style was inspired by 1980s action film such as G.I. Joe, He-Man, and television series like The A-Team. In 2014, after receiving $200,000 to incentives from the city of Champagne, Illinois, Felician Bargin had ran upwards of 100 new employees to begin work on a new project. Little was known about the new game until the trademark of Agents of Mayhem, found by Coach Media, Deep Silver's parent company, was discovered in May 2016, along with resumes linking the project to volition. Further speculation arose from a 2014 Polygon interview with volition Scott Phillips referring to Saints World players as Agents of Mayhem. The game was formally announced on June 6, 2016, with a cinematic announcement trailer released exclusively via IGN. Agents of Mayhem is set to be released in North America on August 15th in North America, and also in Europe on August 18th, 2017. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're excited for Agents of Mayhem that is coming out on August 15th in North America and also August 18th in Europe. So uh, yeah, that's really exciting. So that concludes the gaming update. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for the Agents of Mayhem. And also I'm sorry, um, I have to watch out with these cuss words because uh, there's so many cuss words. So uh, yeah, I'm a Christian. So I have to watch out. So uh, anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, as always, game on. And next watching, please subscribe. Bye.